damn it. Yes. Okay, well, we are alive. Oh. I can't take on two sprinters. Oh, another one on me. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, survivors? My name's Grouser, and we're starting a new series in Louisville. And before we get started, I'm just going to go over some of the mods I'm using and, and some of the settings I'm using as well. And, and I'll leave a list of all the mods I'm using in the description. So let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the mods I'm using. We got Gunfighter, Bridges Weapon Pack, Bushcraft Rare Weapons, Bushcraft Tools, Customizable Zombies, Extra Map Symbols, Extra UI Tweaks, Fashion Montage, Fluffy Hair, uh, Redstone, yeah, Fuel API, Map Legend. UI, Metal Spears, Mod Manager, Mod Options, just throw them out the window. PZ Clothing UI, Random Spawns Louisville, Scrap Armor, Scrap Weapons, Skill Names, Show Up, Swap Pack, The Workshop, and that is it. We've got a 2% Sprinter, I think that's good enough. Let's get going here, we're going to do a custom sandbox. And we are going to start in Louisville. I'm going to change just a few things. Corpse Removal, we'll go... We'll go 96 hours. Loot rarity. I'm gonna turn up the ranged weapons. Just so we can have more gun fun. And we're gonna turn off the respawn. Cause respawns suck. I mean, you don't see respawns in the real zombie apocalypse, right? All right, I think I'm gonna go, I kinda wanna go police officer. Okay, what do we got? We are thin skin, high thirst, slow healing, underweight, conspicuous, prone to illness, unlucky, weak stomach, slow reader, but. We have cat eyes, we're dexterous, we're an outdoorsman, we're wakeful, we're brave, we're a fast learner, we're athletic, and we are strong. And I like to switch it up. Uh, last, my last playthrough was a guy, so we're going to be playing a girl this time. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Might as well load up on food, because we are underway character. Nothing to carry water in, though. That could be a problem. Anything at all we could use as a weapon. Doesn't really look like it. A plunger? Will that work as a weapon? Oh yeah, look out zombies. Here we go, we got a ham. Oh, a rolling pin. Okay, that's uh, probably a... Oh no, the rolling pin goes on your back. Oh, we got a kitchen knife. Could equip that onto our belt. Yeah, nothing to hold water. Let's uh, see what else we got. Okay, we got food. Oh, donuts. All kinds of good stuff here. We got a cheesecake. A strawberry cake. Yeah, we gotta get our weight up here. Let's eat some donuts. There we go. Okay. Take that dirty toilet plunger to the face. Oh, it's... <laughs> doesn't last very long. Okay. Luckily we got the rolling pin. Sneak up on this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies around here, okay. Can we get in here? No. Oh, sprinter time.
This might be a bad idea. We got a water bottle. <laughs> yeah. Well, we made it out. What's this place? Looks like a castle or something. Tons of zombies out here. Come on, take him out. Can we get inside here? Yes. Oh, here we go. Let's equip that. Got a wooden mallet. Put that in our belt. That's a little bit better than the knife. We'll take the knife, we'll get rid of it. Plunger we'll get rid of. And the rolling pin we'll get rid of. Alright, at least the crowbar is a decent weapon. Zombies are breaking in. There's way too many zombies in here to fight. Just get out of here. Is that a sprinter? I think it was. Maybe not. Can we rest here for a second? Whoa. Might, might not be a good place to to take a break, but we, at least we got some first aid. Okay, I'll take a break. Damn it. Yes. Okay, well, we are alive. Oh. Can't take on two sprinters. Oh, another one on me. Oh, man. Get that? Yeah, there we go. Oh. A satchel. Here we go. Start transferring things into my satchel. Oh, got a horde on me. Well, there is no shortage of zombies in Louisville. don't know Louisville really at all. <laughs> this will be my first playthrough. Spent a little bit of time just kind of cruising around in the cheat menu, just checking the city out. This is my first official playthrough.
Oh, sprinter. See if we can dip into this house here. Oh, we have a zombie in the house, okay. Hiding in the closet. A tool belt, let's uh, put that on. Okay, cool. Oh. Some zombie broke into my house. Who did they? digital watch. Let's put that on. Now how'd they get in? They must have got in through this window? Yep. Okay. I think the house is clear. We'll remove these curtains. I'll make some rip sheets out of them. Let's hide in the bedroom here. Okay, we're gonna we search some of these other houses for supplies. Oh, we got a duffel bag. Take that. Okay, here's zombie coming up behind me. So, yeah, I could use that. Oh, here we go. We got some food, we got some beer. A can opener, I could take that. Here we go, empty bottle. Could fill that up. Zombie knocking at the door here. We'll transfer everything into this duffel bag. Ditch the satchel. Equip the duffel bag on our back. There we go. Alright. Actually, let's take our crowbar and equip it to our back. Person's uh, stocked up with toilet paper. Lots of toilet paper, wow. Is there seriously nothing but toilet paper in this house? Even the fridge has toilet paper in it, wow. I mean, now we know where all the toilet paper is. Yeah, toilet paper. <laughs> Okay, this is the TP house, I guess. And down you go. Bloody zombie in here. Oh, 
zombie once in. Okay, we got a ham. And we got ice cream. Here we go, a hammer. Oh no. Hmm, I guess I can't put certain things in the tool belt. Okay. A screwdriver. I can't put a screwdriver in there either. Huh. Gun that's in really rough condition. Box of shells. Let's check the magazine. Yeah, this gun is yeah, it's the condition's terrible. We'll just leave it behind. Cooking for beginners. Take a book to read. Carpentry for beginners, okay. That's a good one. Oh wait a minute, a hoodie. We'll wear that. Yeah, wear hood down. Give us a little bit of protection. Scratches. Empty kettle. Fill that. There we go. Extra water is always good. Okay, well, it is getting late. Yeah, it's one o'clock already, so... Let's celebrate our first day. We'll drink a beer. Four in the morning, it's pretty early. Can read for a little bit. Okay, morning time. Let's head out into the world. I'm gonna have to find a place to set up base, but I gotta figure out where I am first. I don't know exactly where I am. So we'll just wander around until I figure it out. Oh, there's the river, okay. Or at the edge of the map. Oh, is that a sprinter? Die, sprinter. Now, logically, this would be a great place to build a base. These houses by the river, but this is not what I had in mind. I have another spot that I had picked out and I want to go to. Yeah, that crawler's got a hard hat on. Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. Hard hat would be nice to have, but we'll just keep moving. Might as well start collecting garbage bags. Scrap electronics. Surrounded here. Oh, moderate exertion already, really. All right, we'll just take a break in here. First aid kit. A dead bird. <laughs> Snare trap. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not important. Okay. <laughs> we'll just go around the house. Okay, sprinter. Yeah. 
moderate exertion. I'm gonna have to find a place to hide out for a bit. Get out of here. Oh, didn't really get to rest very long. No shortage of sprinters around here. Can I hop this fence? There's no zombies. Just sit down on the ground for a bit. Oh, run, run, run. They're after me. Okay, we'll just hang out here. I have to kill some of the zombies in here, then I can take a break. Boots on. All right, here's the plan. Sit in the corner so we can see everything. Celebrate with some ice cream. We survived. Okay. Okay. Constantly getting attacked by sprinters. Oh, you got leather gloves on? I want those leather gloves. Take the zombies off first. Down to the head. Here we go. Leather gloves. Let's put those on. Nice. Beta blockers. Take them. Alright, we made it to the golf course. This is where we're going to set up our base. And in a minute, I'll tell you why. Just have to fight some zombies out first. More leather gloves, let's take them. It's always good to have a spare set. I get tired pretty quickly. Can we get in here? Oh, we can, nice. Let's head to the back room. Whoa, okay. Oh, perfect. No! Stand on this side. Won't be able to get up. 
by taking care of making a mess of my new base here. Jeez. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them in there. Okay, they broke into the back door. Alright, take a break. Sprinters. And I'm drowsy. That sunglasses. There we go. Now we're looking good. Yeah, so I think this will be a great base. Great place to make a base. See if we can take out some of the zombies back here, though. Okay. Is that going to work? Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay. Now we can relax. Sleep on this chair. Okay, so this is the reason why I chose the golf course. First of all, this front area here, we've got plenty of room. We can put some storage crates here. We can have weapons lockers and store whatever we want. Plenty of places to put storage. Then, you know, we got the kitchen. A nice big kitchen. We got stoves. We got fridges. We got this nice dining area. We got our backyard that's gated off. So I'll probably put a garden back here. Got lots of trees, so if we make it to winter, we'll have plenty of wood to burn for this wood stove. I'll probably put a, f a fence going from here, maybe to like this building, to fence off the backyard. Let's take out some zombies here. Yeah, I'll probably put a fence like from here, like over to this other fence up here. Oh, what is that in here? And then I might build another fence maybe from... We'll see. Probably like from this wall to this wall. And then I'll have to board up all these windows. Or I might even build the fence like all the way in the front area. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We could probably do some trapping back here, I imagine, maybe. And yeah, we got plenty of parking lot space for any cars that we find. And it's quite a distance for zombies to walk from the gate to the building. So they shouldn't hear us or come towards us, because it is like it's a pretty wide open area too. So it's easy to spot them and go take care of them if we have to. Yeah, and except for the entrance, the whole place is like pretty much fenced off. I'm probably gonna put like a fence up here, like back in here to keep zombies out. But yeah, I think this will make a great base. It's in the center of town, so we can 
Shouldn't be too hard to just run out and find supplies. Oh, they're starting to break in. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate all you guys that come out and watch my videos. But anyways, that is the end of episode one. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.